Hi friends, in this tutorial, we're going to check out the hyperlink sticker button. So here I have a digital planner open. Um, it has over 400 pages. Um, it's a planner you can find, find right here on the Explore page. It's called My Beauty Digital Planner. And here I am on the page three um, on the January page. And right here you see a button called Skin Care Tracker. Now this button right here, you can find it under when you go to sticker, sticker then if you go to widget right here there is something called hyperlink button now when you click on it it will add you um, a new text field it looks like a rectangle and then you can also resize it into any size you like and you can also place it anywhere you like on the planner so you can place it here to the left to the right anywhere you like in the settings, you can also change the text. For example, if you have a page called Notes, uh, you can call this hyperlink button Notes, like this. Maybe also change the font up here by clicking on the AA button. Here you can choose a new font, for example this one right here. You can also make the font size smaller, maybe set it to 10, like this. Okay, in the settings, you can also um, further adjust the roundness of the button. Now the button right now um, is fully curved. If you set the border radius to zero, it will be fully rectangular like this. You can also have it set to 10 and this will make it more curved. The higher you go, the more the curvier it gets. 50 would be the maximum and this will make it fully curved like you see here. You can also change um, the color of the button, so the background color, you can for example set it to gray or you can pull up the color palette right here. You can also have the button with a border around it, so you can increase the border width like this and then for example um, make the border pink, okay. So here is, so this is just to show that you can customize the button and make it appear like you want, you can make it bigger, smaller, shorter, wider, okay? And then the magic happens up here. So up here you have a field called link to page. Now, if you, for example, want to link this notes button to the notes page, um, the notes page, which is right, let me quickly see, which is right here. Here I have a page called notes. If you always want your button to be linked to that page, you can click here and set it to detect a text and type in here notes. Now this, this text in this field has to be the exact same text name as this page name right here. And it will now always link this notes button to this page, wherever you have this button placed. This button, you can copy this button, you can place it here under lipstick um, right here and when you export the planner and you click on this button, it will always redirect to the notes page. By the way, you can also link it to detect a month. So for example, if you have it set to detect month and you set it, type it to detect the word January or the page January, uh, maybe you should also change it here to January. Okay. So when you have it set to detect month, it now will always link to the January page, always. You can have this button on the lipstick page. You can have this button on the password page right here. Um, this button will now always link back to the monthly January page, which is this page right here. So feel free to give this hyperlink button a try. If you have any questions, feel free to always message me on Instagram or Facebook and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye!